I'm here on the east end of the Bighorn Mountains on a site that may be one of the harshest ecosystems in North America. While this may not be a postcard perfect picture of Wyoming, there's a plant community here that's actually thriving. Scientists call this the salt desert shrub ecosystem, and that name truly describes the situation here. It's dry, usually receiving less than 10 inches of rain a year, and the soils have an unusually high concentration of salt or alkali. When conditions are so extreme, it's not surprising that vegetation will be sparse and stunted and that fewer species will be able to adapt. However, even here there are success stories. This is a species of sagebrush that has adapted to very dry, salty conditions. It's called bud sage. Here's another called gardener saltbush. Greasewood like this grows where soils are alkaline and where water runs onto an area from adjacent uplands. Believe it or not, these plants are healthy and living up to the potential of this site. They're here because of the natural environmental conditions, not because of human management. Salt desert shrubs can provide good food for deer, antelope, sheep, and smaller mammals, especially in the winter. So keep in mind as you drive through Wyoming and see some of these areas that may not be too pretty, that they're still an important part of the diversity that makes Wyoming special. From the University of Wyoming Cooperative Extension Service, I'm Zola Ryan.